From clocks to paintings, dozens of art pieces will on, be on display and up for auction around the Fargo area, all to help raise money for Habitat for Humanity. The Valley Today's Christy Larson joins us live from Restore in Moorhead with the importance of this event. Good morning, Christy. Well, good morning, guys. It's actually happening this Saturday, and these are just some of the dozens of art pieces that are going to be up for auction, up for you to even maybe inspire you to get some ideas on some things that you could recreate from Restore. But Pete's been here with me this morning, and I want to talk about Habitat for Humanity because there's a really great mission going on here in our community. Okay. Yeah, so Habitat, uh, we build homes for uh, lower-income families. Uh, they actually purchase the homes from us at a 0% mortgage, um, and, and we can uh, build them affordably because we use a lot of volunteer labor and stuff like that. So, excuse Ooh, me. Don't drop the art. We still have to put these up for auctions later. But you said that you guys have actually kind of maybe even around 50 pieces of art. And so people are really going to get to see a variety of things. Right. How did you talk to these local artists and ask them to be a part of this? Uh, this is an event we've been, this is the sixth year we've been doing this. So a lot of the artists are coming to us and saying, hey, I want to participate. Or next year, I want to participate. Um, and then we do a lot of advertising through our social media um, in the restore and that kind of thing. So... And how can people help out? Maybe if they're busy this Saturday, how can they help out and help give back to Habitat for Humanity? Oh, we've got some events coming up. Um, obviously, this one, uh, Gift to the Max Day, which is an online giving day coming up in November. Um, you know, end of the year giving or Giving Hearts Day. Um, even we have a, a stationary bike race that comes up in March that you could certainly come and ride on that and raise money for us. And you didn't mention one with a uh, football player. Yeah. Uh, so tentatively right now, it's uh, we had to reschedule it, but uh, uh, November 8th, um, we're bringing in Mackenzie Alexander to speak at our hard hat breakfast. Uh, he's a Minnesota Viking first or second round draft pick this year. Um, actually, him and his family grew up in a Habitat house in Florida, so he's going to come and speak about that experience. And it's not just him, but we actually have someone else coming to talk about their experience with a Habitat for Humanity house. So we'll have him coming up. But again, guys, up on ValleyNewsLive.com, you click on the hot button. You can find out more information about Saturday's event, but also some art classes. We have both ones for adults, one for kids so you can get those signed up ahead of time. And guys, as you can see, a lot of different pieces here. They really kind of inspired you to create your own art or maybe even come and bid on some of these pieces. Beautiful pieces, for sure. A little mm -hmm. bit of something. And how do, it's a different kind of part of the brain right. than, than I, you see, like the saw blades that are now that beautiful piece of art there uh, behind you guys. I love it. Everybody wins in this. Christy Larson reporting live for us. Thank you.